I've talked about this before, probably ten years ago. I'm, I'm sure. I'm sure I've mentioned this. Look, a flesh creature and a spirit creature can't dwell together. They just can't do it. Somebody's gonna get hurt. You got two two diametrically opposed. Uh, individuals facing off from two different worlds and the believer has a dual nature right I guess the unbeliever has a dual nature too a, a demon a human and a demon a saved person has a dual nature a human and Holy Spirit Christ in you the hope of glory and so the dual natures the dual nature uh, you can provoke a saved person if you push them too far so it's best to stay away from the flesh creature if you're saved now dwelling in a home it's impossible because raising kids the way you do money everything about the flesh creature is all about self and the world and the flesh probably life they don't want to raise their kids according to the truth. They want to raise their kids according to the world. On the job, same thing. You can't really have peace with the unsaved anywhere. The only reason it works on the corporate system or the jobs is because of authority and rule. So what restrains the believer? <clears throat> the Holy Spirit. What restrains the, the flesh creature? The law. You're gonna lose your job, or you're gonna get in trouble, or you're gonna to go to jail, or you're gonna, and a lot of them don't even fear, fear if they don't fear God, they don't fear, they don't fear the law a lot of times. If you don't fear God, you sure don't fear man. But what they fear is loss, or losing their image, or losing, losing something. Let's say they have a car. They're, they're afraid of something that keeps them in line, right? You're gonna to have to lose your job, you're gonna lose your job, and this is gonna happen, and this is gonna happen. So the fear of the law might work on a job, and the fear of the law might work in society to keep everybody in line. Right beside me is a halfway house for men. They haven't been in there but a week or two, and they're already fighting with each other. And the guy who leases it or owns it they cut it looks like from what i'm hearing just being next door it looks like they had to call him because they were not getting along you know look at that now hiring sign so they're not getting along why because they're flesh creatures they they don't even like each other the reason the high the borg the the reason the flesh creatures have to tie into a hive is because they got to be controlled by the AI machine man. They can't get along. That's why the Borg on Star Trek, they're all dead, you know. They're all they're all working together, but they don't they're they're zombified. That's why they that's why that's why they go to drugs. Think about what I'm saying. You think these two people over here get along? No, they don't get along. How can two pride creatures get along for... They might... They might get along for a minute. He might get along with her when he's trying to be with her in the bedroom, and she might get along with him when she needs some cash. But most of the time, they're going to be fighting. Why are they fighting? Two flesh creatures never can get along because it's all about me. Now, how can they get along? One has to drink or one has to drug or one has to, he might have to have a side piece, you know. I learned that terminology watching Bounty Hunter D. <laughs> That's funny. And so you watch the, you watch, watch the Bounty Hunter. Look how foolish those people are. So when you see people who are 
involved in the 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 jail system, you're gonna see some craziness, and you see how foolish they are. They don't even make sense. That the, they could actually just be calm and have and get out of jail and just be bailed out in an hour, but they go crazy and they end up staying in jail for 30 days. All they do is be calm, but it's the pride, pride of man. Red motorcycle. Trouble right there. And people say, well, why does why do you say that about a red car or a red motorcycle? Because red is the blood covering. And if there's a lot of red, there's a reason. You gotta have some blood cover. If you're if if there's a lot of red covering you, there's a reason. Let's look at this car right here and let's look at the tag number. So this is a red car. PFS. I have to Google PF. It's all this is all a matrix. It's all encoded. Everything's coded. So yeah, if there's a lot of blood covering in typology, there's a reason. There's a red porch and a red door. There's a reason, people. This is not this is not none of this there's no such thing as coincidence. And man doesn't rule his own self. Man is not led by his own I mean if he wants to do his own will, yeah, but God is God is allowing it. To, to try to turn them back to him. If somebody's going crazy, God could stop it, but he's allowing it so they they face off. See, the, you reap what you sow, right? You sow what you want to reap. So if they're reaping what they sow because they sowed what they wanted to reap and they get some bad coming back, there's a reason God is allowing it because hopefully they'll get turned back and run to him, cry out to God eventually. But a lot of people are so strong, hard-headed, rebellious and hard-headed they think they're smarter than god they think they're smarter than the universe they think they can outwit the universe you can't do it i talked to this guy when he first moved in and uh he was talking about how he worked at the restaurant system had all these girlfriends and all that and he was proud of it and then this 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 one here across the street, she's all the one driving that. She's always fighting. And she last Tuesday she was fighting out in the street, glass all over the driveway, and somebody was bleeding. And I didn't. Nobody called the police. I didn't call them because I know they're going to destroy themselves. These guys beside me in this halfway house, they're up there drinking and smoking and arguing with each other. saying, uh, you got to rent, off. I'm going to rent from, I don't think so, you done proved what you are, man, you ain't renting from me, and they just sit there on the porch and do nothing, they're just sitting there, you know, it makes you wonder, they're not even talking about truth, you know, let's say there's a, there's a guy in there playing video games, what's better, somebody sitting on the porch drinking and getting drunk, fighting on the porch, or somebody in there playing video guys i don't know at least the video game guys minding his own business but god made man to work there's a reason god made man to work because he needs something to do if a man don't work he don't eat I've always had two jobs. I don't understand. Not I don't understand that other life where there's there's no job, there's no work. I don't. I just can't comprehend that. People who don't work, I, I just don't comprehend it. I can't comprehend it. It just makes no sense to me. What are you gonna do? If you sit on the porch for five, ten minutes, doesn't that get boring? Don't you want to create something? Don't you want to build something? Don't you want to do something? Don't you want to plan something? I just don't understand laziness. Everybody needs a break. Don't get me wrong. If you're working 40, 50 hours a week, yeah, you need a break. But people who don't work, just don't make sense.
that tree that used to be there that was a perfect fractal image is gone it fell <clears throat> but you can see the fractal in there so all these flesh creatures act the same and actually what happens is the reason they don't get along is because they're looking at themselves and they're looking at their wicked sinful hell-bound self in the other person and actually what they see in others is what's in them. So as, as you look out, so you look at that house, and that's a, that's a home or a house. What does it point back to? The body of Christ. But the unsaved, they want a fellowship, but they don't want a fellowship in truth and love. They want a fellowship in lies and deceptions, decepticons. They don't know what love is. They'll, they'll say, you know, they love somebody, but they don't. They don't even know what it means. They don't know what love is. So they're actually looking at themselves. And what happens when you look in the mirror and you, you don't like what you see? You want to break the mirror. So that's why they fight each other. They want to break the, the other person. They're actually looking at themselves. They get mad at somebody else and go crazy. If you notice, if you watch Patty Mayo, the bounty hunter, people get mad at him and all that. He's just giving them back what they got. But after it's over, he says, you okay? You hurt? You safe? You good? I mean, the man is a great example of treating others with respect, even when they're disrespecting him. I'm not saying he's saved or lost or whatever, but he he evidently does believe in God, but he's probably doing it from the, for the camera. If he's not, I'd say he's doing it for the camera and for the money. He don't want to get a bad feedback or whatever. So, but it's still a good example. So you can actually see it with the actors in movies. They're acting. So the, the, the actor will start in the flesh in the movie. They're acting. And over the series and the season, season one, season two, season three, season four, season five, that, act, that person who was selfish and evil and bad, over the seasons, they become a better person and they start to teach others how to be a hero and so what hap what happens is you're looking you're pretty much looking at yourself you're looking at yourself everything that you look at you're looking at yourself spiritually moving from the flesh mind to the to the mind of Christ from the old Adam to the new Adam that's what everything in front of you is everything's that story you might say how's that possible it's right here Grass, G R A S S, G R A S S, flesh mind, green, cane. As you move up the tree, tree, true, faithful faith, you see the body of Christ right there. This is an image of the whole Bible right here in front of you. You can actually see the Twix commercial right here Twix, the twin. You can see the red versus the blue. It's just a mirror image. Even even the AC unit. See how it's, it's flipped. Not only is it flipped this way, but it's flipped this way on the sides with the AC unit. This is the Twix commercial. This is the red versus blue. This is the face-to-face -face Turing machine. And so you see they've got a greenhouse with a red truck and a red uh, porch. they got red shutters. And it's a bluish gray siding. So you see the red versus the blue. You see the Cain and Abel. The reason red and green is Cain and Abel, because like I say, Cain killed Abel. Abel went by the blood. He's under the blood. So the red and the green is Cain and Abel. And we actually see fighting out of that house. It's Cain and Abel. The red and blue there is a bluish gray. Is gray is a mess, sending out a message, right? Gray is uh, conveyance, and you know gray is conveyance because you see the dishes. What do they do? They convey the gray dishes on her, the satellite dishes. They convey. See the chimney? 
Yes, chimneys are red. The reason a lot of them are red is because red is at the top. You got to have the blood covering at the top. I don't want to hear them talking next door. I don't want to roll my window down. I just turn the air on. <coughs> the green trash can and the brown trash can. Base nature is the green, brown, flesh creature. As you move up by faith and upright, so you're moving from the horizontal plane and you're moving towards the, the spirit plane, upright. You're moving from the horizontal, a whore in the flesh mind, to an upright, stable, seated in the heavenlies in Christ, stability, peace in the inner man, knowing who you are in Christ. You've moved from the old Adam to the new Adam, the old Eve to the new Eve. And so the story is playing out right in front of you. AC. So what is AC? AC is 1 3. AC is 1 3. And AC is Antichrist. And AC is the sine wave. And AC is the sin wave. And AC is the snake, because it looks like a snake. And AC is the waves, the drama, the Draco Moss system. And so AC represents what? Air conditioning. So God is using this drama system to condition the heirs, the joint heirs, to be conformed into his image. So when you're in that house, that air conditioning is doing what? It's conditioning the air in the house. So this, this sine wave, this drama is here to condition the joint heirs and push them up to their new identity in the earth plane. And so the air conditioner is a air conditioner, H-E-I-R, joint airs conditioning you and moving you from this state to this state. The chimney, the windows, see the cross on the door, see the cross on the windows and see the pattern on the siding and see the pattern on the, the roof. It's a pa, the pattern, pa t turn. The pa turning out copies through the cross. Look at the electrical on that house. Elect, electrical, the elect saints. That's why it's electricity, and that's why we have the power, and that's why you're joint heirs with Christ. You're priests and kings unto God. And so it just keeps, I could show you so many types and shadows. There's gas going into the, a gas meter, me, T-E-R. It's me. Meter. M-E is on the left-hand side of the T. T is the cross. E-R is joint heirs. So the gas has to transform to be of any use. Just like the transformer on this pole over here. On that telephone pole. It goes from 480 to 110 or 220. Transform you. So for you to have any use, you got to go from a liquid gas to a vapor gas. And when that turns into vapor, it can catch on fire and it can become a burnt offering, a living sacrifice. So you're not of any use until you get burnt up. Your old Adam, your old Adam has to burn up and then you can become useful. But until then, you're not of any use to anybody or anything. So just like the 480 comes off his power line, it's not of any use until it hits the house. 240 volts, 24 is X, take up your cross. 120 volts is AB, Abba, Father. You get to, what, how do you become useful? You cry out to God, you take up your cross, you become a living sacrifice. Otherwise, you're, no, you're of no use. You, you, you're, in, you're still in the AC cycle sine wave. You're still outside the house. Do you understand what I'm saying? The meter to meet out. God will, so the meter, what is the meter doing? It's actually meeting out. To, it's distributing. To M-E-T-E, -E, meet out. To, to meet it out. In other words, to give out. And so God is giving out gifts of the Spirit. He's meeting out. So when that gas goes through that meter, then goes into the house, it's a type and shadow of God giving the gifts out. The meter on that house, met life, M-E-T, 
It's to meet out. It's giving, it's allowing that person to live, to eat and live. The meter on the water main, there's the water main right there. It meets it out. It allows you to have a supply of water, a supply of power, a supply of gas. To, to do what? To live in the house, the body of Christ. So the Holy Spirit gives out gifts. He meets out the gifts so that he can so that you can live and you can build up the body. That's why we're here to build the body up, right? A valve on that water hose. I haven't decoded the word valve, but it's it, just like alphabet. It took me a long time to get out. Alf is a Alf was a uh, was a sitcom, and what was Alf? He was extraterrestrial. Alphabet. Jesus says, "I'm the Alpha and the Omega." Alf. He's from outside of the terrestrial. Bet. B e t. Home. Alphabet. If you want to decode the universe, you got to use the alphabet. You're not going to do it with numbers. you got to do it with the alphabet. Because if you describe a number, you have to use words. You don't use a number to describe words. You use alphabet. You will use a word to describe number, numbers. And so the alphabet is how you decode this thing. You might say, how is that possible? Because they speak the same words in heaven as they do on earth. And so you're speaking, actually, you're pre every time you open your mouth, you're preaching Jesus. Whether you know it or not. Every time you open your mouth, you're speaking the truth. Even if you're lying, you're having to speak the truth. Because the fact that the language is logical every time. Eve, re, ta, m, e. M E Eve Re Eve the mother of all living. Everything's a cycle. Everything's a repeat. Everything's a a birthing process to your new state. Eve the mother of all living. Why? Because she has the cycle in her body. So she every twenty eight days the moon goes around the earth twenty eight days just like she has twenty eight days. Look at this thing. I saw it coming at me a minute ago. There, boom. I saw it way over there. It flew over here. I thought it was going to hit the windshield. Eve, event, evening, PMS, PM, night, peace cut off, the flesh side of Adam. She's a peace cut off from Adam being cut back in, which she represents the church, which is a peace cut off from God being cut back in. So the church is the flesh side of the spiritual body, but you have a dual nature. You have a, you have a, one of these little clay bodies that's going to the grave, and you also ha have the, the mind of Christ, and you know all things. The Bible says you know all things. When it, when I read that, he said it says you know all things. I thought, well, what does that mean? That seems impossible. But then when when I got serious about it, and I asked God, and He started, and then I got really serious, and He started revealing everything. It's right here. They have that car. Why do they get a flat tire on that, that car every week or every other day? That, that tire will be flat again for you. Know. Why? Because there's no air in the tire. There's no joint air in the flesh body. They're flesh creatures, so they have a flat tire all the time. And she's, she's totally bankrupt. I promise you, with that red and green house, Cain and Abel, Somebody might even get her. something's gonna happen over there. It, it's already the the cogs, the precogs are there. I promise you, something's gonna happen in that house. I promise you. There's too many, too many uh, precogs. It's something's gonna happen. Something big over there. See, she's enabling her daughter or granddaughter, whoever she's his daughter, I think. She's enabling her to, to stay wicked and evil and have no consequences for all her decisions. She'll yell at her and scream at her out here in the yard. And you know if she's yelling at her out here in public, she, what she's doing in, in private. And so my point is, it's, a, it's already written. It's wholly writ. 
And so the whole truth's right in front of you. So when you look at something, you're looking at yourself. You're moving from the old Adam to the new Adam, the old Eve to the new Eve. And so as you move to that new state in Christ, the AC sine wave, the Turing machine, is converting you and conditioning you through this process to get you stable and upright and to get you to where you're of some use for somebody else or beneficial to help other people. Even though they hate you, even though they want to kill you, even though they want they want to defame you and lie about you, you're still trying to help them. Even though they don't appreciate you, even though they're not thankful when you uh, take their trash out or whatever you're doing, it's still in you to serve because greatest among you is a servant. 26 minutes. I'm hoping uh, somebody can hear what I'm saying. What I'm trying to show you is what you're in and what you're doing is being done to you spiritually and what you're in spiritually. God is cleansing his church so he, you cleanse your cloth, your clothing. God is transforming you into a new person. So that's why the transformers on the pole over there or over there. God is changing you and transforming you. And the grass has to be clipped. The, the G-R-A-S-S, -S, the flesh mind, has to be clipped off. Has to be cut. Why does your grass have to be cut so much? Because the green reptilian nature has to be cut. He's cutting out the old Adam to cut in the new Adam. That's what's happening. He's cutting out the old item to turn you into the new item. That's why the word cleave means to, to split, but it also means to glue. The word cleave is a Janus word. It means to split and it means to, clue, to glue. And there's a lot of Janus words, and you might say, why are there Janus words? Because Jesus went to the cross, he went down, and he rose up. So on one hand, a word might mean something negative, but on the other hand, what God, what the devil meant for evil, God turned for good, he went up. So all your Janus' words are based on the cross, down and up, down and up. What looks bad to the flesh creature looks good to the spirit creature. It can be two things at one time. It can be bad and good at the same exact time because that's what this AC Draco Ma dramas is all about. So when you look out, you're looking at a drama. When you watch TV, you're watching yourself. You are the real drama. This is the real drama. The TV show is some script somebody wrote just mimicking what's going on in the world and maybe carrying it to an extreme and making it funny or carrying it to the stream and make, showing you the horror show of the cross. But you got a horror show, you got a love story, and you got a resurrection and a, a victory. And so all the stories are really about you. And that's why you have to die daily, rise up. You go to sleep eight hours, a third of the day, 33, and you rise up and you start over. Every day is a new day, and His mercies are new every morning because of the cross.